What's up, everybody? My name is Austin. I'm a product designer at GitLab. This week, I'm going to cover what I did, some UX stuff that I thought you all might be interested in. First thing on the agenda is documenting a pattern for creating keys and tokens. As we're looking into evolving the uh, pages for SSH keys and GPG keys and personal access tokens, we've also identified some other areas of the product that tokens are being created. and. I'll be working on opening a merge request to propose a change to our pajamas documentation on how we will make this flow more uniform across the product. All right, next. Uh, this was fun. I got to merge into change for improving label colors and names. This finally went through after a lot of failures on the pipelines. Thank you so much, Rob, for helping me get through this. Um, pretty simple. Most people probably have noticed this, but it's, we used some really weird names before, like very pale orange for no reason that I could discover. So a little bit more logical names that you'll see in the tooltip when you're looking at the different colors of our labels. So that will show up with compliance frameworks as well. I circled back on the merge request approvals a proposal. Uh, I think we've got set a, a good place now. I outlined how this works um, in this video up here and updated the screenshots. So that should reflect our current thinking as we move into 1310, because we are targeting that coming up. I want to call attention to just this great blog Troy put together about measuring the value of our design system. As someone that hasn't worked at GitLab for a long time, it's very cool to see how designers are using pajamas um, in their workflow. I have definitely really appreciated it coming from my old work environment where we did not have something like this to help solve uh, design questions and UI constraints. This was a super random issue that I came across. Um, I saw Jeremy mention something about customers having to maintain screenshots of their settings page. So uh, while I was in my mind, I just wanted to dump an idea into an issue real quick, but I thought it would be neat if we could create an environment, kind of like my time machine on my Mac, where I could go back in time and view certain points in which my configuration was backed up. That way I don't have to manually manage some of that myself. I get live, I imagine you wouldn't want to manage all those screenshots, so I'm gonna be looking to validate that as a true problem. And then we talked a little bit last time about the key result to improve SUS. We're focusing on visibility system status. If you need a refresher, we're trying to improve how users feel the control of our system, encourage them to take the right actions. So I've identified five different issues here, and I'm going to ask Dennis to help me continue refining these to get them down to three, because our goal is to do three in quarter one. Uh, one of the new ones I added was this opportunity to clarify to call to action on GPG keys. I still need to work on refining this some more. I don't fully understand how we verify or unverify some GPG keys, but hey, maybe that's some more evidence that we need to do a better job at using the system to inform users like myself that don't really understand how all this works. So looking forward to refining those things. That is the UX Office Hours for Compliance this week. Catch you next week.